Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I'm Atul and in this video we are going to see how we can add a drop down list in our Looker dashboard and reflect data based on your user selection in dashboard. When I'm saying drop down list, you can see on my screen that I have a drop down list of country name and if I select for example Austria, then my entire data will get refreshed based on my selection for Austria. This chart, this scorecard and this graph, all of these three visualization wizard will show data only for Austria. So this drop down list helps you or your dashboard user to select single or multiple values from fixed list and based on the selection the dashboard reflects the data as you have seen it over here. Basically drop down list controls to show a list of options from which a user can select the list can come from the values in a dimension or from a list of acceptable values defined for a parameter now one major point that's needed to be noted over here is that the drop down list controls can take a categorical parameter as well as a numerical parameter from the data source for the filtration purpose but most often it's useful with the categorical parameter so let's go and create a drop down list control so first of all what I'll do is that I'll create a blank page over here and then I will replicate this chart, this graph and this scorecard model. So in order to add these things what I need to do is that I need to add the data source in my new Google Data Studio. So first of all we need to understand about the data. So as you can see that I have used GDS44 data source over here. And this is the GDS44 data source where I have country name, country code ISO 2, country code ISO 3, number of stock transferred in 1000 and date of transfer. So I will read this entire data in my new dashboard and then I will add a drop down list for my user to select a particular country so that my dashboard can reflect the data in graph as well as in charts for that specific country only. So let's go and add a data source first. To add a data source, I'll go to resources and then I'll click on manage add a data sources and I'll click on add a data source. Then I'll go to Google sheet, then my data source and this GDS44. This is the data which I have shown you over here, which I will be using in my dashboard. Okay, so the first thing that I need to add is that I need to add a chart over here. So I'm going to add a chart. So by default, this chart is taking the date range dimension as date of transfer, dimension name as country name and metrics as record count. Instead of record count, what I need to get is that I need to get the number of stock transferred, right? Then I need to add a, a scorecard. So I'll add a scorecard over here number of stock transferred in thousands. Then I need to add a time series chart over here. Which will show us the time series on dates on which the number of stocks has been transferred. So by default, Looker has already taken number of stock transferred in matrices and date of transfer in my dimension now as you can see over here in this chart all of the countries are included right over here in this chart all of the countries percentage are shown and the total number of stock transferred is shown now think of a scenario where a user comes to your dashboard and he just wants to see the data related to Austria then how he can do that in order to give this flexibility to your user, you need to add a drop down list on a categorical data and that categorical data is our country name. So in order to add a drop down list in your dashboard, first of all, you need to go and select the toolbar and then you have to select add a control within this add a control. You need to select a drop down list. Once you select a drop down list, you can see over here. Whenever I am moving my mouse, you can see a small rectangle which says click to add or drag and draw. Now if I want to add the drop down list over here, I can simply 
put it over here and by default looker or data studio will select a categorical variable by default it has selected country name this is what i needed for my dashboard where user can go and select a country a specific country for example austria and then click anywhere on the dashboard and all the data sources or all the graph and charts will reflect the data for austria only now if you select this drop down list you will see that the first thing that comes in your setup is data source this is the data source from which this drop down list is taking its categorical variable now the second thing is that data range dimension if your data has a column in which there is dates then this date range dimension will be automatically detected and looker will take this date range dimension as a date column then you have a control field this is the field in which you want to add your categorical variable on which your user can apply the filter for example suppose if i want to put filtration on country code iso 2 then i can select country code iso 2 and if you go to view and click on it then you will see that all of the country codes are available here right now as in our edit section we have selected austria that's why we are seeing austria over here but if i go to my country code selection and click over here then everything is selected now if i go back then you will see that all of the country codes are available here right now the third option that we have over here is default selection so suppose if you want to select more than one or a single value of country code over here which gets selected by default whenever a user opens your dashboard then you can put the values over here suppose if i want to select data only for afghanistan and uh, austria then i can copy these two data values and i can put it over here separated by a comma then what will happen is that even in your edit mode as well as in your viewer mode the dashboard will show data only for those two countries as a user when you go to this drop down list you will see that at and af is selected rest all of are not selected if you want to select all of these countries then you have to click over here first then it will unselect everything and then again you click over here then every country will be selected now again if we go back over here then the next option is metrics so when you go over here and see this then you are seeing the numerical value over here but most often you do not want to show these numerical value to your user when they are selecting it so you can unselect this basically you can remove the metrics value and then if you go to your view section and select this you will only see the country names now the next option that we have for drop down list is order now if you want to put your country or the categorical variable in ascending or descending order then you can select from here now there is an option of show top this option limits the number of item displayed in the control if the number of item available exceeded this limit the remaining items are grouped into all others by default now the next option that we have is default date range this option limits the value displayed in the control to range you specify so basically by default it will be selected auto and if you select custom then you can select a custom date range over here then the next option that we have is filter so it restricts the data display in control by including or excluding the values you want to specify and if you want to add a filter then you have to click on this add a filter then you have to give a name of the filter over here suppose i am selecting country bh okay and i just want to exclude this country bh from my entire dashboard because it's not required for us to show in the dashboard then i can select the country iso code 2 and if i go back here you can see country iso code 2 has this code bh right so i can select a condition is equal to so exclude the country iso code bh 
and if I click save then you will see that all of these data sets for example if I select everything all of these data sets will reflect everything except BH over here so you can see BD is there BE is there BT is there BY is there but BH is not over there in this filter as well as over here you can see this Bahrain is present over here right Bahrain data will be over here but in your drop down list Bahrain is not present so this filter is only applied on the drop down list now if I go to style the first option that I have is drop down so it displays the control in a drop down box if I select fixed size then it displays the control as a fixed size so let me go and click on view so if I click over here it's a fixed size if I enter a value for example I n and if India is present over there then you will be able to select it else you won't be able to select that now let's go back to our style section the next option is single select so when you select the single select it allows choosing only one option from the list noting that the parameter controls only support selecting single values so if I go to my view section and if I select AF then you will only be able to select one country from here you won't be able to select multiple countries right so most often when you want your user to select only one country then you can opt this option single select now there is an option which says enable search box so this enable search box lets you search for a value in the list so as you can see over here I can search a particular country code for example AZ or even if I put A then I will be able to see all the countries that code starts with A right now if I unselect this enable search box and click on view then I won't be able to search any country I can only depend upon the drop down box and suppose if your drop down has thousands of item then it will be very tedious work to go and scroll down and select a particular country so that's why whenever you are creating this drop down you should always select this enable search box the next option is the text option it helps you to control the text color and this option helps you to control the text size this is the header size if you want to change the header font and header color you can change it from here this is the tick boxes now if you want to change the tick box color then you can change it from here okay so now I have selected this tick box color as red then this tick box border color as blue and the divider color as yellow now if I go to view and click over here in the drop down you will see that the border color is yellow tick color or the background is red now if I select something or unselect something you will be able to see that the tick border color is blue over here right now the next option that we have is the label if you want to change the font of the label then you can change it from here okay this is the background color you can change the background color from here you can set the border radius opacity of the border and the border color as well as the border weight and the border style and this is the last option that we have is the padding if you want your entire value within this drop down to be centrally vertical then you can select this else you can unselect this once you unselect this then you have to give the line height left right padding and the top padding but if you select this then the looker will automatically gives a padding of 24 pixel from left and right so this is how basically you create 
a new drop down and work with drop down in looker or google data studio happy learning and see you in the next video